This podcast is part of the Bomb Pod Media Network. Happy Tuesday, weirdos! Welcome to the Daily Dose of Weird News. I'm Darren Marlar. Today is voting day around the United States. A recent poll reveals that more than 80 percent of Americans favor major changes in the way elections are conducted. Change number one – better candidates. The Ford Motor Company has developed a robotic butt. Ford uses the robot to test its car seats, and it can simulate 10 years of use in just three weeks. And if that doesn't work out, there are already Kardashians lining up to use it on themselves. Surgeons in India removed 639 nails from a patient's intestines. You know, if your mom keeps telling you to stop biting your nails, now you know why. Elena Burkova, a Russian porn star, says she's going to run against Putin in the next election there. That's assuming, of course, she is still alive by then. O.J. Simpson's house in Las Vegas was reportedly a hotspot for trick-or-treaters on Halloween. Although I do feel it was a bit inappropriate for him to pass out small red-stained gloves. They say Hong Kong residents have an average living space of 50 square feet. That's smaller than the average jail cell. But they do get to live under a totalitarian communist regime, so you know it all balances out. Stephen Colbert axed a pre-recorded interview with Jeremy Piven on Friday because of those pending sexual harassment allegations. You know, I'm quickly coming to the conclusion there is nobody working in show business that is not a sexual deviant. An 81-year-old man in the German town of Breton reported finding an unexploded bomb from World War II in his home garden. Police and the bomb squad showed up only to find out that the alleged bomb was nothing more than a large zucchini. But you can give the guy a, a break. The police themselves even conceded that the nearly 16-inch squash really did look very much like a bomb. Ohio police are on the lookout for a man who pulled up to a McDonald's at 3.30 in the morning, ordered an egg McMuffin, was told that they were all out, and then pulled a gun. Like, you know, I will never, I will never understand stories like this. I mean, all right, sure, you're disappointed they don't have what you're looking for, but how does pulling a gun change the inventory of what's in the McDonald's walk-in cooler? Strippers in New York City have gone on strike, saying bartenders and club owners are discriminating against them. All right, look, ladies, if you're demanding uh, respect, you might want to start by not taking all of your clothes off for money. There is a lot of controversy in the Netherlands right now about a new television show called Raped or Not. Gee, I wonder what's so controversial about it. Sears has announced that in addition to the 250 Sears and Kmart stores it's already scheduled to close, it's closing an additional 45 Kmarts and 18 Sears locations. Man, this is crazy. Now, somebody should buy one of those stores and convert it into either a Radio Shack or a Blockbuster video. CBS is going to bring back The Twilight Zone. Yay! But only on their all-access streaming service. Boo! Twitter says that one of their employees inadvertently deactivated President Trump's account on the very last day that employee was going to work there. Apparently, Twitter's definition of inadvertent is a lot different than mine. A woman in Polk City, Florida was arrested for DUI last week. She was caught drunk driving a horse. Now, that hardly seems fair. I mean, after all, it was the horse doing all of the driving. According to the laws of physics, the universe should have annihilated itself as soon as it came into existence. Earlier this year, scientists, for the first time, developed a way to measure antimatter, a discovery they hoped would enable future researchers to solve the mystery of how the universe survived. All of our observations find a complete symmetry between matter and antimatter, which is why the universe should not actually exist, says Christina Smora, author of the CERN study. Now, or here's an idea. How about you just give in and admit that God must have done it and then move on? Get the Daily Dose of Weird News podcast for Apple or Android at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And please leave a review on iTunes if you like the show. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos! Ghosts, demons, shadow people, unsolved mysteries, unexplained phenomena, monsters, and more. True stories of the paranormal and supernatural. I'm Darren Marlar, the creator and host of Weird Darkness. 
where I bring you the dark, creepy, and macabre. You can even tell me your own stories for use in future episodes. Get the podcast today for Apple, Android, or your favorite podcasting app at WeirdDarkness.com.